just go down the list here. He says this. He says, uh, first question, what do we make of the last few verses in Mark? Are they God's word or man's words? Also, had you lived prior to the discovery of the older manuscripts, would you answer? Would your answer be uh, this differently? Okay, so for those who don't know, there are a significant amount of manuscripts, biblical manuscripts, uh, that end at Mark 16, not, uh, 8. Um, and then there are others that go, obviously, the rest of the, the way through 16. Um, if you look in your, in your Bible, depending on the Bible, it'll tell you that this is probably later, that it doesn't, uh, it's not found in, in, um, in early manuscripts or in some early manuscripts, we should say. And the reason, so we need to be really honest about this. There, there is a great article that I found right before we came on air. This is probably why I forgot to turn the audio on. Um, it's by Texan Canon Institute, Phoenix Seminary. And it's called, this one is called, now I, this isn't the only one I read. I read another article that looked at a case for the longer ending of Mark. This one is called a case against the longer ending of Mark simple, right? Um, and he really does a fantastic job of, of showing kind of both sides of the argument and then why he believes that the longer ending should not be included. Now, uh, he gives internal evidence, external evidence, all sorts of things. He admits uh, up front that uh, 90% of manuscripts have the longer ending of Mark. He also admits that a lot of the early church fathers do attest to the longer uh, ending of Mark. Like they, they quote it or they reference it. However, there are early church fathers who say that it was added, that it was not original. And so, um, he, the reason I like this article so much is because he uh, has has given kind of both sides. Uh, this is just one of the things that I kind of honed in on here. He says it, for external evidence of the long, uh, against the longer ending of Mark. This is what he says. He says the oldest old Latin manuscript concludes at Mark sixteen eight with a version of the shorter ending and lacks sixteen nine through twenty. The oldest Syriac ma manuscript ends at 16.8. The oldest Sahidic manuscript ends at 16.8. The earliest evidence we have for the Christian Palestinian Aramaic version of Mark ends at 16.8. The, uh, uh, the oldest Arminian manuscript ends at 16.8. The oldest Gregarian manuscript ends at 16.8. So, uh, well, and then obviously there are some older Greek manuscripts that don't have it. Another statement that he has, and then I will... Wait, can uh, we just... <clears throat> yep. Pause there and and like look at the implications of that. What yeah. we have is a, a basically an explosion of, of distribution translation, all of which pro, uh, uh, follows missionary work. In other words, the reason why we have all these translations is not just because someone is sitting in some city just ripping off translations of all the languages they know. These represent the spread, the expansion of, of the gospel. Right. Yeah, the expansion of the gospel into multiple cultures and languages. And that is one of the important uh, uh, facets that text critics evaluate. When It's not just the number of manuscripts like you pointed out. It, it There's all sorts of other things that need to be put on the table, and we evaluate all of them together. So go ahead. I just wanted to share that point. Yeah, great point. Um, I thought so. So um, this is what he, this is in his, uh, he has six, he's talking about a specific scholar who is arguing for the longer ending of Mark. And um, he says this, he says the contents, this is number four in his list of six, uh, six points. He says the contents, vocabulary, and awkward fit of the longer ending in relation to Mark 16, one through eight suggests that this was not the ethereal ending to Mark's gospel. This is a very important admission from Snap, the person that he's uh, that he's responding to, which I will take further below. So, I think that it needs to be noted that uh, one of the things that I've kind of uh, I've seen personally is that I don't think that it fits. I don't think that uh, it flows the way that Mark writes his gospel. I think that the longer ending doesn't sound like Mark's. It's not, it's not his, uh, it doesn't sound like he's writing it. If I may, now, on that very please. point, yes. uh, I'm referring to Porter and Pitt's Fundamentals of New Testament Textual Criticism. This is a 
there's a newer edition now and they're charging like twice as much for it. Sadly, of course they but are. <laughs> one of, one of the, uh, for weighing internal evidence, you were contrasting external versus right. internal, the, the external evidence would touch on points. Like you said about the distribution of different translations, like, you know, and then it kind of like, wow, all in these early translations, they're all uh, ending at verse nine or verse eight. Internally, the, what you're describing is referred to as scholars as cohesion. And uh, so quickly, the textual phenomenon that describes linguistic features and functions that enable texts to hang together as texts. Well, regarding the end of Mark, they say the vocabulary used there is so different from the words he uses elsewhere in the gospel. Then he, uh, Border Pitts here gives some exam- several examples to disbelieve, to harm. I won't uh, give you the, the Greek, but uh, to confirm, to follow, to see after these things, to go, to work together later. There is no, co- so in terms of this category of cohesion, there is no cohesion linguistically between the lexical items in the long ending of Mark and the gospel of Mark as a whole. That's a major point uh, in the, in the academic lingo of what Caleb's talking about of it just doesn't fit. I mean, in layman's terms, it don't fit. Thank you so much for watching this video. Tell us your thoughts on this subject by leaving a comment in the comment section. Make sure you like share, subscribe and enable those notifications and we'll see you in the next video.